Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my top 10 movies of 2021 list. So, looking back on the past year, I saw more movies than I expected to see um, from the year. And not all of them were great. Some of them were meh or just not as good, but none of them I would say, okay, not none of them, but few of them were outright bad. Um, at, at least almost all of them were watchable, <laughs> and I would be somewhat interested in watching again. Um, some of them I even have watched multiple times. And then, of course, there are the ones at the top that are the best of the best, and these will be my top 10. Out of 32, I think, is the total I've seen this year, um, four movies that came out this year, mind you. Um, so, out of like 32 or so, this is my top 10. Uh, obviously, I will be linking in the description below just for copyright reasons. I'm going to be showing clips, mostly trailer clips. Um, so, yeah, you can check out the video down in the description below. It will be on both Bishu and Google Photos. But yeah, no real rules for this other than the movie must have come out in 2021. Um, and, and I'm talking about a wide release. If the movie came out like at Sundance or something, whatever, a, a film festival like that in a previous year but had its wide release in 2021, it still counts. And it doesn't matter if it was released in theaters or on Netflix or other streaming services, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that it came out in 2021, that it's a movie, obviously, and yeah, that I liked it. <laughs> Because if it's in my top 10, I must have liked it. So, I, I'm very excited to share this list with you. Um, I, and I'm very confident about my choices. Like, every choice in here I truly believe deserves to be top 10. And even the ones that just didn't make it, even though I really like them, I, I think that I think that they're in the right places. So... Um, I do want to briefly mention a few runners-up that just barely missed out on the top 10, though. Um, these ones were really good, and I really liked them, but they were just short of reaching the top 10. I'm going to mention three specifically. Uh, first off is Zack Snyder's Justice League. This was phenomenally better than the original Justice League cut from 2017, though I did still like the 2017 one, unlike a lot of people. Um, but this was phenomenally better. It was so well done, and it was proof on why we should definitely allow directors to show their vision for movies. Um, but it is something I've watched three times now, and I think I don't really want to watch it again just because it is so long. And also it's just not something I really think I need to watch again. So that's main reason why it didn't make the list. The second thing I want to mention is Red Notice. This was a big movie for Netflix, did really well, uh, starring Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Gal Gadot. It was surprisingly good. Like I thought it was going to be too silly or too ridiculous, but it was actually really good. There were a couple things that I felt just didn't work as well as they should have, um, and, and that's the only reason why it's not quite top 10 material for me. And the third thing I want to mention uh, as a runner-up is Willy's Wonderland, which I just saw the other day. Willy's Wonderland is so fucking dumb, but in the best, funniest, and most entertaining way possible. It, it, it knows it's dumb. It fully embraces how dumb it is. And I kind of love that about it. But it is super fucking dumb. It does follow a lot of cliches, and because of that, it just it, it, it does bring it down just enough to not be in my top ten. But it was still very, very enjoyable to watch. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to share my top ten with you. Like I said, uh, I am linking it in Bishoot and Google Photos down in the description below. Please check it out and tell me your top ten movies from 2021. Tell me what are the movies that impacted you the most, that you enjoyed the most, or that you even thought were just the best made. Let me know down in the comments below, and let me know if any of my choices are on your list, or vice versa. Whatever. <laughs>
Either way, thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. Hope you enjoy the list.